Hey everybody, it's Muriel. So I'm here to share with you another pinwheel bouquet that I made. So I made one, you recall, a couple weeks ago and her bridal shower was uh, Friday, last Friday, um, I don't even know what day it was. It was maybe about a week ago. And she really did love it and it was really cute. And shortly after we got back to the office, she said if I could make her one of a more tropical theme, and I thought, oh, tropical, okay. So I went out and bought a paper pad, and then she bought some single um, packs of um, paper from Michaels, and she picked out the colors that she liked, and I just finished it, and I want to show it to you. It's really tropical looking, I guess, and it's really pretty. Um, so let me show you what I used. This paper pad I picked up at Joann's. I showed you guys this in a haul last week. It's called Beach House. Really beautiful blues, corals, um, some grays. Uh, we didn't choose a lot of the um, images, but yet just some of the patterns. And it's double-sided, so it worked out perfect. And then I have some of this bead trim from Hobby Lobby, kind of, um, you know, tucked in here and there on the bouquet. And then the handle to the bouquet, I'm using this box trim cream. I think I picked this up at maybe a um, scrapbook fair, just because I don't recognize the vendor here, Tall Mouse Super Saver, December 11th. So that had to be many, many years ago because our, um, uh, oh God, what is it called? Like, um, scrapbook fair used to come to the main bower center it doesn't come there anymore and that was probably in december so so anyway there is the um trim that i use this really heavy duty um trim is really good for edges and um as you know this has a lot more pinwheels so the straw handles were a lot i had to secure them with um what is this stuff called? Let me get it because I can't even remember. Zip tie. You know what a zip tie is. That's what I use. I use three zip ties to secure it and then I covered it with that trim. So here it is here. There's the handle. First of all, I started, uh, covered the bottom with a rosette. It's a cream color rosette. Glued it and then as it, um, as it covered the side, I just kind of glued it down and then I started with my daughter helping me wrap the handle with the beautiful um, trim. And then the bouquet is here. I even used some flowers from Hobby Lobby, two sets of uh, different kind of flowers to poke in between. So, so this one here has the blues and the corals and the ocean water pattern there. Um, peach it has some images of like some coral there and then she liked this hot kind of a hot pink and uh, she had me throw in this orange and then there's some gold um, and then it just kind of looks like that on the top uh, the front of each of the um, let's see here it looks like one is missing there but on the tips of each of the pinwheels I have some sequins and I was going around uh, gluing them with glue dots so I'm, I have to go back because I see that I left off one right here so it doesn't have any glitter to it other than just the gold making it shine so it came out really pretty I really tried to focus on making it round and like I said I had to zip tie these um, this all together so you can see where the tip of the zip tie pokes out there and there and then we hot glued it all the way down so you can see underneath it doesn't you don't see too many of the straws so that is the pinwheel bouquet I just have it in a vase here so it can just kind of sit up and again I use the beach house paper by DCWV so I appreciate you guys watching. Please leave me a comment down below. Um, I'm going to be taking this to her on Monday. And um, her wedding is August 18th. So I don't know how she's planning on getting this to Hawaii. But I will certainly stress. If you have to carry it, please do. Because I would hate for you to pack this up. 
and um, it doesn't uh, travel well if you know what I mean so okay you guys I have been also making lots of jewelry and Anna you're just gonna be blown away when I show what you what I've been doing so I'll be back later on today um, I got up this morning I had my uh, um, personal trainer at the gym at 7 and then I came home I had a little breakfast and then me and my daughter crashed out we crashed out from probably 11 to 2 so now we're up and we have a little bit more energy it's beautiful outside we're gonna go do some grocery shopping and then I'm going to come back and I'll be doing a video showing you some of the jewelry pieces that I've made until my next video you guys thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time bye now